Mahabuddha Temple or Temple of Thousand Buddhas located in Patan. Sundara Chok is situated approximately 1 km to the south of Mangal Bazaar. At the heart of the square lies three golden covered stone fountains giving clear origins to its name Sundara, meaning golden stone tap. Roughly 500 meters east of Sundara, you'll spot the entrance gate of Mahabuddha Temple on the left. Upon entering through a small gate nestled amidst towering houses, you'll find yourself at the Mahabuddha Temple. Within the square, at the interconnected corners of houses stand the seven-story temple, boosting a glorious history. This temple follows the secret style of architecture constructed using terracotta bricks, clay bricks fired at high temperatures. Every brick in this temple features a carved Buddha figure, earning it the moniker, Temple of Thousand Buddhas. The exterior of this temple is adorned with approximately 9,000 Buddha statues, with around 3,400 being actual Buddha representation, while the rest are a symbolic Buddha motif. It is believed that these 9,000 artifacts also include lotus flower, symbolizing Buddha. Mahabuddha Temple is dedicated to Siddhartha Gautam Buddha, the historical Buddha. The Mahabuddha Temple has a very ancient statue of Sakyamuni Buddha on the ground floor. On the first floor, there are small subsidiary temples in all four corners, each containing idols of various Bodhisattva like Avalokiteshwar, Vajragrava, Chitisgrava, and Manjusri. Additionally, in the main section of the temple, Along with the statue of Sakyamuni Buddha, you can find depiction of Amokpasa Lokeshwar, Maha Manjusri, Ratnagarva Bodhisattva, Prasna Pramita Devi, and Vajrakunsa Deity, each in the four cardinal directions. The Mahabuddha temple has multiple floors with various sacred representation. On the second floor, there is a red Amitabh Buddha, while the third floor houses the Swambhu Chaitya. Moving upwards, the fourth floor is dedicated to Dharmadhatu Mandal, the fifth floor to Vajradhatu Mandal, and the sixth floor to Usnis Churamani or Surya Nirajan Chaitya. Long before, visitors used to be able to access all these floors by climbing a small hatch inside the temple, but this is now no longer permitted. The Mahabuddha Temple, located in Patan, was constructed in the 15th century during the reign of King Amar Malla. During this period, there was a prominent rural artist and scholar named Avayaraj Sakya, who was a devout Buddhist. Avayaraj Sakya undertook a pilgrimage to India and was particularly captivated by the Mahavodhi Temple in Bodhgaya. He spent four years at the Mahavodhi Temple, deeply engrossed in the meditation and studying the temple's artwork, architecture, and dimension in great detail. Upon his return from India, Avera Sakya had meticulously documented the execute beauty of the Mahavodhi temple and was determined to replicate its splendor in Nepal. While he could not match the gardener and sites of the Mahavodhi temple, he harbored a fervent desire to construct a temple in Patan that features similar artistic elements. Avera Sakya, who had become a respected Buddhist scholar, received the title of Dita from King Amar Malla of Patan. Additionally, he began issuing copper coins. Impressed by his dedication and contribution, King Amar Malla bestowed upon him a royal title. During this period, goddess Vidya Sundari Devi appeared to him in a dream and instructed him to commence the construction of a temple at the very location where the Mahabuddha temple now stands. Abhayra Sakya initiated the construction of the temple in the year Bikram Sambat 1621, equivalent to 1564 AD, on an empty plot located outside his residence. However, he was unable to complete the project, leaving the temple in an unfinished state for some time. His son, Jivras, also attempted to carry on the, with the construction, but met with limited success. It wasn't until 1600, when Siva Singh Malla ascended the throne of Patan, that the temple, after 36 years of intermittent construction, was finally completed by Jivra's sons. During the temple's construction, various Buddha statues made from stone and clay, terracotta, as well as depiction of Bodhisattva, Dhetrasastra, Virupaksha, Kuvir, Virudhaka, and other deities were adorned within the temple. 
The temple also features depiction of Asta Mangas, various Padma Valleys, Jwala Valley, Vajra Valley and more. The construction of the temple spanned approximately 36 years, involving the contribution of generations of Avera's descendants. King Amar Malla laid the foundation stone and his grandson, King Siva Singh Malla, inaugurated it. Thus, the construction of the temple witnessed three generations of the royal rule, from King Amar Malla to King Siv Singh Malla, and ultimately King Sadasiv Malla oversaw its completion. After the temple's construction was completed, Jeevraj and Jayamunju traveled to the king of Sikkim. The king of Sikkim was delighted and presented them with a gold as a gift. Consequently, this temple came to be known as Sangye Tengu in Tibet. In the Tibetan language, Sangye means Sakyamuni Buddha, Tong signifies thousand and Gu represents nine. During that period, all the gold received was offered to Bunga Dio, also known as the Rato Machinranat. Among Avera's seven sons, one chose a monastic path, while another settled in a place called Bihili outside Patan. The remaining five sons continued the lineage and the descendants of Avera's youngest son, Buddha Jupati, established a private guti. They assumed the responsibility of caring for the temple and conduct daily worship for a month. Thank you.